Hey guys, it's MB. Hope you're having a great day. So I wanted to tell you the story about this yellow hat right here. It just looks ordinary. It looks like something that you might buy at Urban Outfitters, but I'm cheap so I bought it for New Look. And it doesn't look like anything to anybody else. But to me, this hat has so much sentimental ven like venue, value. <laughs> I can see clearly see I'm still in the wedding mode. And to me, it, it just like, I bought it like four weeks ago. And I just love it, and, I, and ever since then I've just been into yellow things and I don't know if this makes sense to anyone out there, but have you ever bought a piece of clothing that just brings so much happiness to you? There's so many things out there that just make you so happy, like hats. So this beanie hat I know is just a piece of cloth, I'm not very materialistic I promise, I don't think a beanie hat really changed my life, but to me it was a moment when I bought this hat, that something really changed with inside. So basically, what happened was, I had come to a point in my life where I was just tired and I was just drained and my well-being wasn't great. And when I say well-being, guys, I'm gonna be real with you. I was probably a little bit depressed, a bit anxious about everything. I probably got myself into this state because I was trying so, so, so hard to adult and um, just make myself look like I had everything together and I got to this rut to this point where I felt like I was losing a lot of the things that made me myself in order to achieve adulting and I was just like getting so annoyed and um, so frustrated with everybody because I was feeling like people were making me this way when actually really it was just me. I was putting expectations on myself to be something I wasn't. So when I was younger I used to wear beanie hats all the time or as soon as I could basically if my hair wasn't in a massive frizz and like I could put a hat on without it springing back up. I would just put that sucker on and like be so ready for my day and um, I just loved beanie hats. My mum always used to say you look homeless but I knew that beanie hats were going to be a good trend so I just kept on wearing them. Um, all through like high school, I mean secondary school, I liked wearing beanie hats when it was like mufti days and stuff like that. I just loved beanie hats but when I became an adult I kind of felt like I needed to fit a mould. Um, so I'm not saying I changed my clothing to look more like an adult, but I mean like I felt like I had to be more mature, I had to be more serious in order to be taken seriously. A lot of you know me, I'm not a very serious person sometimes. I'm like, I say some silly stuff, I get my words mixed up. Me talking on YouTube is a big deal because like, You'll see me do this a lot, like where I'm like, ah, or blah, 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 and I do that all the time. But like, I am a silly person at heart. And as, when I was younger, I remember thinking to myself, if I'm ever going to be taken seriously, in order to be taken seriously by people, I've got to stop being this way. I knew I wasn't going to get a life in comedy anytime soon, so I was like, I've got to just be, you know, serious. And I say I'm like super funny, but. I was that kind of person that found joy and happiness in almost every day. But then I got to this point where I tried to change myself so much so that I could be taken seriously, so I could be looked cool, so I wasn't that dorky one in the friendship groups or anything like that. And guys, it just got me in a place where I didn't even recognise myself and I didn't understand what was going on um, with my mood. I mean, naturally I do get quite anxious, but I think it didn't help that I was constantly trying to be the symbol of perfection. And you're looking at me now, I am not the symbol of perfection, and but I think I'm perfect in my own way, to be honest. But I, I, I know that it wasn't right for me to, to do that to myself, to try and be this cool kid or this cool person. And I, ch I changed my clothes, I, I, I like black and white clothing sometimes, but I know I like vibrant colours, so like I tried to buy a little bit less colours. I used to have a whole wardrobe filled with patterns and, and different designs, but like I thought, you know what, black and white's easy and, and simpler to wear, but I also was like, you know, the trend is kind of like minimalism and stuff like that, so I'm just going to go for that. 
And I'm not saying those things made me sad, but it was just that one thing that then led to other different things that I tried to do to change myself. And I guess the beauty of it all was the further I got in trying to change myself, the more I realised I liked who I initially was. I liked being the dorky person. I liked being the one who said the wrong words at the wrong time. I liked making people happy rather than making people, like, bringing the negative out of things or highlighting, oh, the price of bills is so high. Like, I was that kind of person that I liked seeing people smile and I liked seeing people happy. So when I got this hat, right, it was a massive symbol for me to to kind of embrace the things that make me me. When I did this YouTube channel, it's another thing that is a massive symbol for me to embrace what I like doing. I love speaking to you guys and I love reaching out to people all around the world and I love encouraging self-love and self-worth in others. Now, I'm not saying I've got that sorted. There's still days where I look at myself when we look back at these videos and I go, oh, Ooh, double tuning a bit, but I don't care. I think I'm getting to that point in my life where being myself is going to get me through a lot of the hard stuff in life than trying to be somebody else or trying to be someone I'm not. And I found as well, when you be yourself, when you're confident in yourself, you tend to attract other people like yourself into your life. So therefore you end up feeling more comfortable. Like all my friends, not gonna lie, they're hilarious, they're absolute goofballs, and I and I wouldn't replace them anytime soon for some cool, well, I'm not saying they're cool, guys, you're so cool, but like I wouldn't replace them anytime soon because they make me so comfortable in my own skin. Um, so this has been just my Saturday thinking thoughts for Saturday and just a real super encouragement to you guys out there that you don't have to change. Pick up those things that really make you you and just like, just like expand on them, like blow them up, like all those great things, those quirks that you have that your parents love and you think is really, really sad because you think no one else will love them. There is definitely people out there that will love them. So I hope you have a great rest of the day. Keep doing you. And I'll see you soon. Ciao. And I keep getting stuck in this chair because my belt keeps hooking on me.